Welcome back to Acrylic Arts Academy, where we teach the world to paint. Today, we will guide you through painting a beautiful magenta garden cosmos. This easy floral painting tutorial is perfect for beginners who want to learn how to paint petals, leaves, and vegetation. But before we begin, let's review the materials you'll need for this project. Pause if you need more time to read it, or find this information in the description below. For your convenience, a reference photo is available for download to assist you with this project. If you want to download it, pause the video here and open the link below in another window so you don't lose your progress. Now that we have our materials ready, let's dive into the painting process. Step 1 is painting the background. Start by mixing light blue with lots of white and a small amount of deep or medium blue. Use a larger brush to apply this sky blue mixture all over the canvas. Take your time and enjoy the process. Step 2 is where we will be adding white streaks. Now, with a clean brush, apply streaks of white paint over the sky blue while it's still wet. This will create a streaky cloud effect. Let it dry completely before moving on. Step 3 is painting vegetation. Next, use leaf green and lighter green with a fan brush to create blades of grass or vines. You may also wish to brighten a portion of green paint using lemon yellow. During this phase, we'll use a fan brush two ways to create vegetation. Use the brush vertically to create long grass or vines. Use the brush diagonally or horizontally and apply the paint with a stamping motion. Add depth by incorporating dark green. Feel free to customize the amount of vegetation according to your preference. Add as much or as little vegetation as you like, leave the middle empty. During step 4, we will be adding details. Use a tiny flat detailer brush and dark green to add vines and leaf details. Use dark green to add vines and leaf detail to some of these plants. Then, switch to light green and a detailer brush to add more leaves and grass. Before we paint the flower, we must give it a strong foundation. Paint a stem using a detailer brush and sage green as shown here, you may also use a slightly darker green during this step. Create a vine with this color, follow our lead to make things easier. Use a slightly darker green to add low light and dimension to this vine quickly. Let's paint the flower's center during step 5. Now, grab lemon yellow and a small round brush. Use a stamping motion to create the center of the flower. Add dimension with tiny lines of dark orange. Add these little hatch marks radiating from the yellow flower center. Apply this small flourish around the entire circular form. Take your time and enjoy. Step 6 is painting petals. Using a small filbert or round brush, paint magenta and plum purple petals starting from the outer edge towards the center. Vary the shades for depth and dimension. Begin by painting petals starting one and half inches away from the flower center. Apply the paint in a straight line from where you start, toward the middle of the flower.
Depending on the paint you use, you may need to apply more than one layer, it's okay to switch back and forth as you begin to build the flower's form. During step 7 we'll add details to the petals, which will help create realism. Outline the petals with plum purple using a detailer brush. Take your time with this step to add intricate details. Step 8 will help you paint the flower's bright yellow center. Dot yellow ochre and bright yellow into the flower's center, adding X shapes for detail. To add another layer of detail, use bright yellow. Paint small X shapes to quickly add this flourish to your painting. Use marsh green and a detailer brush to outline the stem. Let's add some leaves to this cosmos flower during step 9. Use marsh green to outline the stem, then sketch out leaves using leaf green. Add depth with darker green shades. Take your time and follow our lead to add leaves in a similar fashion on your canvas. First, sketch the outline and then fill it in with various green shades. During step 10, we will create additional details. Fortify any areas that seem sparse with additional vegetation. It's your creative decision to place vegetation of different types around the canvas. As always, it's perfectly okay to switch paintbrushes and shades of green at this time. As we wrap up this fun floral painting, let's add our final details to this artwork. You're doing a great job, don't stop now. Add vein-like details to the leaves with brown paint and a detailer brush. Let your painting dry, then refine any details. This last part may take a while as you determine which areas need another coat of paint or refinement. Trust yourself to use your creative intuition to determine what action should be taken according to vegetation placement on your canvas. It's okay to pause this video to give yourself more time to work. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep painting and exploring your creativity. And there you have it, a stunning magenta garden cosmos. Thanks for joining us at Acrylic Arts Academy, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more acrylic painting tutorials, give this video a thumbs up and share it with a creative friend who may enjoy it. Until next time, happy painting! Look in the description below to see all our artist resources. Begin your painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free courses.